When I race, I feel that God is always there. Every hill I climb, I'm like, Lord, please just help me up this hill. Ultra distance cycling, where riders can cover 150 miles or more in one day, takes stamina, grit, and determination. For Chris Piles, it's more than a passion, it's his calling. I do this all the time. I get to the top of the hill, I've done the climb, and I thank him. I thank God, I thank Jesus, I thank the Holy Spirit for getting me there. Before biking, Chris found his connection to God through using his gifts in volunteer missions work, rebuilding homes after natural disasters. It just seemed like I had to do that, like I had these gifts, so I had to help these people um, by using my gifts. And it just solidified my relationship with him. Then in 2016, after 10 years of doing volunteer missions work across the U.S., he says God began steering him in a new direction. It started at a charity bike ride in Maryland. And I saw this one guy on a bicycle, and he's being followed by a van with all these stickers on it and all these flashing lights, and there's spare bicycles and, and wheels up on the roof rack. Well, I looked at some of the stickers on the vehicle, and across the windshield, they have Race Across America. I'm like, hmm, I wonder what that is. So I Googled it and looked it up. It is billed as the world's toughest bicycle race. It starts in Oceanside, California, and it ends in Annapolis, Maryland. It's approximately 3,100 miles, approximately 170,000 feet of climbing, vertical climbing, and solo riders have 12 days to do it. I'm up for a challenge, but I'm like, that is crazy. Well, fast forward to last year, I'm praying to God, what's my mission? Well, this race across America started coming up again. A lot of people raise money for charity uh, during this race. So I looked at charities, I'm like, eh, nothing really stood out for me. But then God gave me, well, why can't your mission for this race be to spread my hope and love across the country to all the people that you're gonna come in contact with. As Chris began assembling his team, he made sure they were all on the same page. We came up with the team name, Racing for Christ, and our mission is to share the hope, love, and peace of Jesus Christ with others through our actions and words. To get into Race Across America, Chris had to qualify at the World Time Trial Championship where competitors had to finish a 400-mile course in 24 hours or less. It would take everything Chris had and almost cost him his life. Things were going well until the 18-hour mark. All of a sudden, I came in to stop to pick up some water bottles from my crew chief, Eric, and I felt like I was gonna pass out. So I just sat there on my bike, kind of slumped my head over the handlebars and just, I just told Eric, I was like, just give me a minute here. <laughs> And, uh, but I just couldn't move. I would just felt awful. Chris pushed on to ride the full 24 hours. But after the race, EMTs put him on an ambulance for the nearest hospital. On the way, they ran an EKG that showed what Chris felt on the course was a heart attack. Adding insult to injury, Chris finished just 30 miles short of the 400 he needed to qualify for Race Across America. My thought was during this whole thing, I wasn't mad, I wasn't, you know, upset, I was like, because I knew God had given me this mission. Like I knew it, I was doing his will because of all the people that they put, he's put in my path and, and everything that had come up to then had been just laid out by God. So right after that happened, I was like, okay, God, what's this little twist that you're throwing in here, <laughs> you know, with this heart attack? Chris realized it wasn't God, but his inexperience that caused the problem. His lesson learned, he took some rest, got better training, and just three months after his heart attack, went back out for another qualifier. And when all was said and done, I rode 417 miles and had qualified, and God, the way he can do it, just threw in a bonus, because I got second place in my age group, which, uh, and the guy who got first is one of the best ultra cyclists in the world right now. So uh, to get second behind him, I mean, it was just, not just satisfying, but just to see what God can do. I mean, it's like, you know, I, I have a heart attack three month, three and a half months before qualifying for the toughest bicycle race in the world. And I just, I, I 
I'll admit it, I broke down. I was like bawling, like riding the bike, like can't see, I'm like blurred with tears and stuff like that. But uh, um, it was incredible. Chris is now spending endless days training for the 2020 Race Across America. What keeps him going is more than competition, but the chance to share the hope and love of Christ and give God the glory for making it possible. I'll be honest with you, this is a race, I wanna win. But really, if I win, but we're not doing his mission, it's not worth it. Physically, it's gonna be so grueling, but I'm looking forward to it. My favorite scripture is, I can do all things through Jesus Christ who strengthens me. He, he can do anything, you know, he can, he can have you do anything, uh, especially when you're following his will.